Hello everyone, my name is Maher Haddad. Today I'm going to show you how to configure um, OSPF version 3 uh, using IP version 6 of course. So uh, let's go to our lab scenario. Uh, you work as a network engineer in a company. Your CTO has decided to move to IP version 6 due to the lack of leasing new IP uh, version 4 blocks from your ISP provider. All IP version 6 addresses have been already assigned in this lab. So all this IP address has been assigned already uh, to the interfaces shown on this lab. So our tasks are, first, configure a static route so router 2 can reach the loopback interface of router 1 and ensure it is working. So, um, so this is our lab. Uh, we have router 1 connected to the interface router 2 and then router 2, 3 and 4 fast internet interface and then we have loop back for every one um, so now if I go to router 2 I do ping the loop back interface of router 1 which is 1111 colon colon 1 uh, I have no uh, reply so uh, we have to be able to ping it for this reason I have to configure IP version 6 route which is static route and here I have to say to reach 1111 colon colon 1 slash 128 this is our prefix you should go to the next hop which is, which is uh, 201 2011, 2001 uh, colon 1212 colon colon 1 okay so now if I do show IPv6 route can see here the static route is great this has been created so let's test now ping and now it's working so this is how to create a static route with IPv6 now we have to configure OSPF version 3 routing protocol on router 2 router 3 and router 4 ensure that you can ping all loopback interfaces on these three routers okay so on router 2 configure terminal uh, I have to enable uh, uh, IPv6 unicast routing then I have to go in inside the interface so it's not anymore like version 4 and here I have to say IPv6 OSPF 1 area and the, the area is uh, area 0 enter uh, but it says that uh, there is no router ID so we have to configure router ID uh, router ID and this is done by going into IPv6 router or SPF 1 and here I have to say router ID 2.2.2.2 uh, okay uh, I did it on interface fast internet 0 over 0 I would do it fast internet 0 over 1 And I would do it. Uh, oops. Pass it in at zero over one. Yeah. And I would do also uh, on interface loop back zero. Okay. So this is on router two. I go to router three. Uh, IPv6 unicast routing interface fast internet 0 over 0 IPv6 and then directly there is a, a comment saying that you need to configure the router ID uh, I will do it uh, later now I'll just uh, let me enable it on fast internet 0 over 1 and I will enable it on loopback Zero. Now I go to IPv6 router or SPF1 router ID 3.3.3.3 and uh, directly it formed the neighbor with router 2. Now router 4 IPv6 unicast routing. Let's do it here directly. IPv6 router or SPF1 router ID uh, 4.4.4.4. .4 .4 .4. Now 
Now interface, fast Ethernet 0 over 0. Interface 0 over 1. And uh, loopback 0. All right. So we have already configured the OHPF on this re this router. So let's verify. So if I do show IP v6 route OHPF or router 4, you can see that the loopback router 2 and router C are shown. That's good. And of course, uh, this uh, network over here, which is 2323, is shown also. So from router 4, if I ping, for example, 2.2.2. Oops. 222 colon colon 2 which is loopback of router 2 it's working and if I do 3333 three, 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 colon colon 3 which is loopback of router 3 it's working the same thing if we go to router 3 of course show IPv6 OS uh, route OSPF also uh, it's okay Loop back and uh, this network over here and router to uh, show IPv6 route OSPF. Also, three, four loop back and then this network over here. All right, of course, we can do also show IP OSPF neighbor to ensure that the neighborship oops, show IPv6. SPF neighbor so you can see the router ID are shown over here and so it's the same like uh, IPv4 basically but of course using IPv6 so this is good um, now router 2 and 3 and 4 must be able to ping the loopback interface on router 1 so this loopback make the change needed so those router will be able to ping it all right, so if I'm on router 2, I'm able to ping it because if I do show IPv6 uh, route, we have created a static route at the beginning of the lab, so I'm able to ping it on router 2. But on router 3, if I do ping 1111, colon, colon, 1, you can see that I have no reply. So to, do, uh, to solve uh, this issue, uh, we can do it in two options. The first one, we can uh, make router 2 as a gateway for router 3 and router 4 to reach the loopback. And the second one is to do redistribution. So I will do both. So first I will, I will uh, do the first uh, one, which is uh, I have to go to uh, IPv on router 2, IPv6 router or SPF1. And here I have to say uh, uh, the same command, which we use it on uh, IPv4, default information originate and then I put always and that's it so now on router 3 if I try to ping now um, well, I'm not able still so let's trace trace route 1111 colon colon 1 so it's reaching to router 2 and not going to router 1 okay uh, and the, I think the reason is router 1 show IPv6 route okay router number one doesn't know how to uh, to send the packet back so we have to configure here a default route uh, IPv6 route colon colon slash zero this is how to do the default uh, static default route uh, to go to 2001 colon one two one two colon colon two and uh, now if I go back to router 3 and trace route, okay, you can see now it's able to ping it. So I do ping 1111, colon, column 1, it's working, router 3, ping 1111, colon, column 1, it's working. So this is the first way you can do it. The second way, let me take out this comment from here, okay. So, uh, of course, I'm not able anymore to ping it. Okay, because we took the command uh, out. All right, so, the, so the second way to do is uh, if I show you on router 2, I do show IPv6 route. You can see that uh, we have created a static route to reach this network or loopback of router 1. 
So what we can do, we can redistribute this static route inside the OHPF here. And this is a way to uh, also to reach it. So uh, on router two, I can I can say here uh, router uh, IP v6 router OSPF one, and here you, I can say redistribute the st static and uh, make the metric for example uh, fifty, and that's it. So now if I go to router 3, if I do show IP v6 route, you can see directly that this has been shown uh, as uh, E2, which is type metric type E2, which is uh, 50 also, as uh, we put the metric 50, it doesn't change. So uh, also on router 4, show IP v6 route, as well E2, or SPF E2, and metric 50. So let's try to ping now. Ping one 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 column column one. It's okay. And uh, router three ping one 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 column column one. It's okay. Okay. So uh, that is all the lab. Uh, I hope you enjoyed with the new technology, the uh, IPv6. Uh, 